Hello everyone, welcome to EduCare 247. This is the second lecture of previous year's paper series. In this series, we are discussing UPSC EPFO previous year paper. And in our second lecture, we are discussing the questions of general science asked in UPSC EPFO 2017. This series will give you an idea what kind of questions will come in the examination. So you can subscribe to EduCare 247 for further updates. EduCare 247 has launched UPSC EPFO 2020 comprehensive course. In this comprehensive course, we are providing notes, MCQs, video lecture and 12 full length mock test. Currently, we are running a discount. You can use EPFO coupon code to get 1000 rupees discount. The whole world is locked down. So it will be a lockdown learning at your home. You can study. Your study should not be hampered. That's why we are running a discount. So you can subscribe to EPFO course. It will be very useful for your upcoming examination. In general science, the question was asked on statement based. Four options A, B, C, D were given in that two statements were given you have to find that statements are true or not and the second statement is explanation for the first statement or not so let's see question number one. First statement is the force on the moon due to earth is an action while the force on the earth due to moon is the reaction statement two is every action there is an equal and opposite reaction this is Newton third law and the first statement and second statement is true and second statement is correct explanation of first statement so here answer is a so you can see that a says that both statement individually true and the second statement is the correct explanation of statement one so this kind of question can be asked you must prepare your science paper according to these rational question reasoning question what is question two question two is it is a common observation that if we place a glass of ice water on table at a room temperature, the ice water would get warmer. The statement second is heat is energy that flows between a system and its environment because of temperature difference between the between them. So here this is the concept of heat flow. Basically heat flow from one system to another system if there is a temperature difference and that question is based on that concept. So statement 2 is the correct explanation of statement 1 and both statement individually is also correct. So here A is the option. So see some reasoning based question or analysis based question will be asked in science paper. So you have to read science in very thorough manner so that you can get the idea of reasoning. Apart from reasoning question, there were many factual questions in science paper as well. See this question. Which one of the following materials is not diamagnetic at standard temperature and pressure? Here the answer is iron. It is completely factual question. There is no reasoning for a time being. We can justify with the reason, but you must remember these kind of facts so that directly in examination you can mark the answer. The fourth question is which one of the following gases has the highest solubility in water? This is also very factual question. You need to remember the solubility table which is comes in the first and which is comes at the last. So here answer is ammonia. Out of given these four gases, ammonia is the most soluble in the water. The next question is bleaching powder contains. So basically bleaching powder contains chloride you need to remember the bleaching powder formula and you need to remember many other formula as well because next time some other formula based question can be asked you see the question number six what is the casual agent of chicken gunia so answer is virus chicken gunia happened due to virus so this kind of also disease related question can be asked maybe next time they can ask about dengue or maybe coronavirus so that all you have to learn the question number seven is bioremediation is a technology which is being extensively utilized in controlling. So basically you have to tell that bioremediation 
is used for what so basically it is used for heavy metal pollution this was very good question and this was based on current affairs you can see that this was very much in news because bioremediation technology has been used for metal removal of from the ground water so you can see that they are asking question from the current affairs of science and technology as well so you need to go through the current affairs of science and tech the next question is beauty of some historical monuments is greatly affected by the growth of certain living organisms belonging to which one of the following groups basically you have to tell the groups of animal which impact the monuments here answer is lichen you must have seen the green coral thing on many old monuments and that impact the monuments so here answer is b lichen the next question is which one of the following has the characteristics of both an animal as well as plant so here answer is yug lena so you must remember these kind of factual questions as well you must remember the groups of this kind of animal it can be asked in the next examination as well the next question is in order to save the stored food grains from the insect farmers usually mix with them here answer is neem leaves neem leaves protect foods from the insect insect does not come near the food if neem leaves are there so this is very common practice used by farmer to save their food grains so this kind of question can be asked in the examination hope you have enjoyed the video if you have enjoyed the video like share and comment and subscribe to educate 247 thank you and keep learning